Ever wondered how your GPS system calculates the shortest path or how economists predict future trends? Welcome to the world of math integration. This seemingly abstract concept is actually an everyday hero, silently working behind the scenes of our daily lives. When your GPS quickly computes the quickest route to your destination, it's using principles of integration to calculate distances and times. Similarly, when economists forecast market trends, they're integrating past and present data to predict future outcomes. But the story of integration doesn't stop there. It's a cornerstone of calculus, a branch of mathematics revered for its power and elegance. Whether you're calculating the area under a curve or determining the total quantity of a continuously changing quantity, integration is your go-to tool. So, math integration isn't just for textbooks and exams, it's a silent companion in our everyday lives. Imagine a single raindrop falling from the sky. How can we calculate its path using math integration? Let's begin with a raindrop suspended in the midair, poised to take its journey towards the Earth. It's at a certain height from the ground, which we can denote as H. This is our initial condition. Now, as soon as the raindrop begins its descent, there are a few forces acting upon it. The first is gravity, pulling it downwards. This force we'll call G. The second force is wind resistance, which we'll denote as R. This force opposes the raindrop's motion, slowing it down. Lastly, we have the initial velocity, V, which in this case, as the raindrop has just begun its journey, is zero. How does the raindrop move from its starting point to the ground? It doesn't just jump from the sky to the earth in one go. Instead, it moves in infinitesimally small steps, each one affected by the forces we just mentioned. This is where integration comes into play. Integration, in essence, is a process of adding up these infinitesimally small changes over time. It's like piecing together a puzzle, where each piece is a tiny part of the raindrop's journey. We can integrate the forces acting on the raindrop over the time it takes for the raindrop to fall. First, we integrate the force of gravity. This gives us the acceleration of the raindrop at any point in its journey. Next, we integrate the wind resistance. This tells us how much the raindrop speed is reduced due to the opposing force of the wind. Lastly, we integrate the raindrop's velocity, which gives us its position at any given time. By adding up these small changes, we can determine the path of the raindrop from the sky to the ground. We can calculate when and where it will land and how fast it will be moving when it does. Hence, the journey of a raindrop, something so simple yet complex, can be decoded using math integration. Now that we've solved the mystery of a raindrop's path, let's revisit the highlights of our journey. Integration, the magical mathematical tool, seamlessly weaves itself into our everyday lives, often without us noticing. It's the silent genius that helps your GPS calculate the shortest route to your destination. Got lost in a city maze? Thank your lucky stars for integration. This mathematical wizardry doesn't stop at navigation. It also plays a pivotal role in economic forecasting, helping us navigate the unpredictable waves of the economy. Integration, like a seasoned seafarer, guides us through the stormy seas of economic unpredictability. Remember our little raindrop friend? That journey from cloud to earth was a practical illustration of integration at work. By calculating the shortest path, our raindrop made its way home, showing us how integration is not just a theoretical concept, but a practical tool. And there we have it, math integration, the silent mathematical genius making our lives easier in ways we hardly notice. Until next time, keep integrating your curiosity with knowledge.